Welcome. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spirit of Acceleration, and this is the October update. I would like to just remind everyone we do have some um, group clearings that are going to support this month. Okay. And the first one is October 11th, and it's fear of your own power. Okay. So we don't want to be afraid of our own power, but a lot of people really, really are. Then we also have a group clearing with Sarah, Accelerator Sarah, and it's the Hormone Harmony. And then another one with me on the 25th is facing your inner demons. So these are really good uh, helping you to really open up to what's happening in October and have some shifts and changes. So the topic for October is called cradling. Okay, The energy frequency is called cradling. So what that means is when I look at the energy frequency, there's something around everyone on some level, there's all these emotional energy frequencies that are buried in the subconscious. And as you know, with the new paradigm and the light frequencies that are happening on the planet, as well as energetically out into the atmosphere, um, the energy frequencies are hitting our subconscious. And when we think about cradling, we kind of think about like holding on to something, you know, maybe protecting something, you know, holding it close, cradling. So in the frequency of October, that energy is actually hitting these places and, and holding and supporting you in your own cradling of energies and frequencies that are kind of intense or maybe seemingly um, traumatizing. So what's happening, I can see energies coming up from the subconscious, okay, because remember, the light of the new paradigm is literally pulling stuff up from the subconscious. And with all the past uh, energy frequencies that have been happening, they're all supporting the energy to come up to awareness. So what happens is when we have really intense traumas, PTSD, crisis, when we have deep emotional feelings of like hopelessness or helpless, okay, feeling helpless, and also feelings like being forsaken. These are all really intense, dark energies, emotions. So when they start to come into awareness, which is what's happening, sometimes the, uh, the energy is uh, seemingly more intense. So what we do is we start to hold on to and we start to cradle the energy. Okay. But there's also an energy frequency that's on an ener a much, much bigger scale that is also cradling. So as I'm watching the energy of October, as we're moving into October, there is a frequency that's also protecting in a sense, holding in a sense. It's just like, just like that cradling. You know, when we think about the cradling energy, when we think about cradling, it's like it is, it's a holding, it's a holding of something. So energies can start to unravel and release. So when we're looking at the energy frequencies globally, planetarily, I'm looking at not just the, the planet itself, I'm actually looking out at the planets, okay, the planets, I'm looking out at the the galaxies, I'm looking out at the universe, I'm, you know, it's, it just goes vast out, okay, but all of it, on an energy frequency is literally cradling you, cradling your unconscious, the subconscious, cradling these deep, deep traumatized places. So in a sense, it's, it's protecting you from being bombarded with something so big you can't handle it, okay? It kind of reminds me of people, there's a lot of people now doing this stuff called ketamine, which actually allows people to, to see things from the subconscious and not be affected by it emotionally. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you're still going to feel things, but it won't be like when you're in it, when you're going through the emotion of it, it's more like you're watching and witnessing. So the cradling in a sense is actually kind of doing that for everyone. It's, it's energy starting to come, but it's in a sense, it's like softened, protected by that cradling energy so that as energies are coming up into awareness, into your awareness, because many things are going to be activated. You're going to be having lots of reactions, going to be lots of people activating your subconscious. And sometimes when it's, when things are too intense, we can't handle it. So that cradling energy that's happening, not just on planet Earth, but 
you know, coming in is actually literally holding holding you. Okay, it's kind of cradling you, holding you, protecting you, keeping things from going too intense. So a lot of intense things are going to be happening in October. A lot of energies are going to start moving. And this is a way to allow these energies to move and allow you to navigate through the intensities of these experiences, of these emotions, of the memories, of the traumas, the PTSD that's buried in the subconscious. Well, it's being pulled to consciousness, but sometimes if we pull it too quickly, it can be too overwhelming. Okay, So it can be like another trauma, give you more PTSD. So we don't really want that. We want the energies from the subconscious to be lifted, to come into awareness, but we also want to be able to navigate these intense feelings. Okay. So you're still, you're going to be going through some dark places, energies from the subconscious. I can already see the energy of October. It's already starting to pull that energy up from the subconscious. And then it's going to be coming in to more where we are, have more conscious awareness and it's going to be presenting and, and bringing forth some emotions. Okay. So these emotions are going to be really dark, really intense. This is the, what I call like the black energy. It's the blackness of the subconscious. What that means is the really deep stuff, you know, the stuff that's like, whoa, like things like being uh, traumatized in a way the way you feel tortured. Okay. Where you feel like you're not loved. I'm not talking the softness, those more gentle ones. I'm talking where you really, really feel unloved. Okay. So for example, um, just recently in some of my unraveling, I got another piece, you know, like uh, with my dad. Okay. I mean, I'd done lots and lots of inner work, but there was always something I could feel and wasn't quite cleared yet. So what happened was, is that the awareness, I finally got in an awareness and it had that feeling, which is kind of interesting of not feeling like my dad didn't love me. You'd think I would have gotten that one a long time ago, but I never did because I never felt that way. But then I, when I got that piece and I went into it, it was an uncontrollable sobbing, out of control, like seriously out of control sobbing, okay? But amazing shift happened because of that. So what I'm saying is the darker places, those hidden places that haven't been accessed yet, even for those of you who have been doing a lot of your inner work, facing all kinds of traumas and and all these deep, deep, deep emotions. Well, now the really deep black stuff is getting activated and coming into awareness. So the cradling is literally softening everything because what it does is it's holding the energy. Let's just say that within your subconscious, there's a really deep, deep, mm -hmm, really deep feeling Oh, this, okay, I get it. Yep. So the very feeling, which is like massive, this is one of the most important feelings that we want to uh, embrace so that we can open our hearts and start to feel love. But that place where you don't feel loved, okay? Well, no matter, it doesn't matter how it happened, whether it was with your mother, father, both parents or other, it doesn't matter. But it's that deep, deep feeling of not being loved, okay? But it also goes directly into God, okay? not feeling loved by God. Everything goes back to that. No matter what you're dealing with, mom, dad, doesn't matter. Everything goes further, further back to creation, your connection with creation, the all that is. So these really deep, dark, painful places that have been buried and lots, you've done lots of different inner work, lots of energies have moved, lots and lots so that now this is ready to start coming forth. Okay. This is really important because what's happening is all of humanity, the deepest, darkest, blackest places, the recesses of the subconscious are now lifting up to the surface. It's actually a really good thing, but it does not feel good. It's extremely intense. It's extremely uncomfortable. And that's why we're having this energy cradling. What it's doing is literally as these emotions are coming up from the subconscious, coming into consciousness, into consciousness, okay? So that cradling is literally holding the energy so that's not coming up too quickly, so it's not too overwhelming, too intense, but it's holding it. So as it's holding it, what will be happening is the energies will start coming through gently, like little pieces. See how my fingers are coming through the subconscious rather than boom? It's like this little piece is coming through. So the cradling is holding that kind of almost like a monitoring, allowing some energies to come forth 
again, they're going to be intense. Okay. This is why they're, this is why they're cradling. It's just like keeping it from blowing your mind, so to speak, or traumatizing you even more. So I think it's important that you understand that the new paradigm, the frequency, the high vibrational frequency of the new paradigm is that frequency of light that's, that's permeating the entire earth and the energy is around us as well, but the earth itself is in transition. The earth is also shifting and changing, coming into the new world, new earth frequency. So the vibration, everything is turned into chaos and that energy is affecting humans in the subconscious. So as the earth is having its frequency, vibrational frequency shifting and changing with the vibration of the light, light shining, getting higher, higher, vibrational frequency, everything has to change with it. Our bodies are changing with it. This is also moving into that fifth dimensional, you know, of, 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 of the world. And as we are evolving and shifting and changing with all of this, the energy of the subconscious, the frequencies that are buried have to come to the surface. Okay. But they're almost, they're being drawn out like a magnet. So the energy of the light, the new paradigm frequency, the earth itself is all you know, in ha helping and assisting that subconscious energy to come to awareness. And, you know, we've been dealing with all this really dark energies, you know, we've done a lot of healing, a lot of clearing, a lot of unraveling, and, you know, shifting, changing, but now it's like that place where we're going to really start to get the, the darkest stuff, the most traumatizing, the most traumatic, the most horrific, unconscious energies are now going to be starting to come to the surface, okay? So the cradling of that is actually really vitally important because let's just say that memories, well, memories of some really intense things that you had no clue of, that you had no memory of, let's just say all of a sudden there, there they are, you know? It's like it can be too much, you know? It's like your, your whole being can't handle it. So we don't want it. We don't want it to work that way. We want to soften everything so that it's a gentle awakening and an awareness of these really intense traumas. So everyone's in it. Okay. So we were watching the world. We're seeing all these experiences. You know, all the the fighting, the wars, the potential future wars, all these things that are happening, and all of humanity. You know, witnessing the atrocities and horrors and you know, the, the, the elections and everything that's coming, you know, all this, the whole world's in like this turmoil. It isn't just the United States, it's everywhere, you know, what's going to be happening. So all of that energy of what's going to be happening is also uh, helping that darker energy because you have all these beliefs, you have all these attachments, you have misperceptions and conclusions that are not true and real but they have to be brought to the surface. They have to be brought into awareness. So with all this intensity, it's, it's really activating the deepest core wounding of all of humanity. Okay, so remember, you have all this carryover from past lives. Our intention is to heal that energy, to know it. That's the soul's mission, is to know itself in all ways. And in doing so, it relaxes, it becomes a higher frequency so that it can merge into the oneness with the all that is. That's ultimately what's happening. But in the meantime, we have all these intense experiences, horrific experiences that we've never known by surrendering to the emotion of those experiences. So now here it is again, and it will continue to be again and again until everybody wakes up. But what's happening is in that carryover, You've carried over many, many, many intense experiences, and then you've recreated them in this lifetime. So all of those energies are still buried really deeply. Like they're like the black lodged in, where it takes a lot to to start to you know pull them, shift them, to break it away from the the, the hold that's happening, the grip of holding on in the subconscious, so it can't come up. So now, because again of the new paradigm, the light frequency, it's a higher vibration. It's lifting all these energy frequencies that have been holding things down, it's now lifting, okay? As that's lifting, now just imagine, imagine that, you know, some of the worst things a human being could possibly ever experience is break, broke free in your subconscious. And now it's, you know, wanting to come up and be free, be known, well, it's too much, too much <laughs> for, you know, one experience. So it's like by, by cradling the energy, 
holding it and releasing it bit by bit, then it's kind of like taking little bites of a horrific trauma. Okay. So you can handle those little bites. You can handle what's happening. If in fact, this energy just burst through, some people would literally would, would have break, people probably be checking out and a lot of people would have some mental breakdowns, all kinds of really intense things would be happening. So we don't want that. We, you know, it's this, we want to be able to navigate what's happening. We want to be able to navigate the traumas of our subconscious so that we can heal this stuff. If it's coming too quick, it'll be too intense. Okay. So October, cradling, holding you in a sense, keeping you from, you know, totally getting whacked, <laughs> totally getting where, whoa, can't handle it so that you can handle it so that you can move through. So I'm just going to encourage everyone, know that what's up, some big stuff's coming, big intense experiences, some of your greatest fears might get activated. The very things you've been so worried about fearing, oh, all of a sudden, here it is. Okay. So again, it's always about going through your emotions surrendering to the emotions. I'm going to remind you again, doing your emotional work means surrendering to your feelings, the emotions that are arising. Okay. It's not about your story. When you're telling your story and you're feeling all these emotions, you're not knowing it. You're not knowing the feeling that you're trying to understand at a soul level. All you're doing is recycling. Okay. So the key to any of your emotional work is you have to surrender. What that looks like is this. Let's just say something's coming up for you, some kind of memories coming through that wasn't there before, and you're having a big emotion. Okay. The tendency is to want to tell the story repeatedly, spin the story in your mind over and over and over. All that's doing is causing you to feel the emotion over and over and over. You're not clearing it. You're not healing it. You're not knowing it. So, when you're in that feeling state, you have to surrender to it. That means you let the whole body relax, all the muscles, everything relaxes. You drop into that emotion so that you are that emotion. You become the emotion and you no longer have mind thoughts. You no longer even know where you are. Okay, You don't even know if there's somebody else in the room because you are so fully in that experience that nothing else exists. That's how we know an emotion, okay? So in that surrender, when you're feeling these emotions, your heart's going to break. You're going to feel like you're going to go crazy. You're going to feel like you're going to die. You're going to feel like you're never going to come out of this if you go into it, okay? You'll have all those feelings and all those reactions. It'll be happening. But the truth is, is you're not going to die. You've already gone through it. So as you're going through, keep softening. The moment you have thoughts, let them pass through. Keep coming back into the emotion by surrendering to the emotion, keeping your consciousness in the body, your soul consciousness in the body. The soul is now finally knowing itself in that intense emotion connected to some kind of trauma. So once it knows itself in that, it's done. That dance is done. You don't have to keep doing it over and over repeatedly. Okay. That's the beauty of knowing these energies is just when it's, then you can't even find the thought of it. No one can even find the reaction of it. You're liberated from it. You're free from it. Okay. So learning how to do your inner work is paramount in your evolution. Okay. If you can't, then you better find ways to start feeling, find these feelings, move, watch movies, read books, whatever, watch the new, whatever activates you, you want to start a reawakening your ability to feel because that's how we unravel that's how we clear that's how the soul evolves wakes up okay so again cradling protection in a sense allowing you to go through you got to go through at a manageable rate rather than bomb you know bursting through and feeling like a bomb went off you can't handle it okay so it's really actually pretty cool what's happening this month but it's also really intense because the really deep stuff is now coming to the surface. Okay. So again, I just want to remind you, you know, we, we're, we do group clearings to support you and all of these things. And, um, you know, we've got one coming up and um, fear of your own power is coming up with me. We already gave dates. And then also with Sarah, the hormone harmony. Okay. That's also good. And then facing your inner, Demons is coming up on the 
25th of October. So that's mine. All right. So I just want to do a little bit of an activation here, help you on your journey, help you to really start moving forward, helping you to really be able to do your inner work so you can get liberated. That's what it's about. Liberated. Share the gift of you. Okay. All right. So now, <laughs> all right. So now I'm just going to go right into that heart chakra, little blockages there. And I'm going to activate that frequency right into the heart. Then I also want to go into the subconscious. I'm going to make an opening and more of an opening, letting the gateway open up so that the, the deeper energy frequencies, I'm going to start releasing the hold, the grip that's bound them, kept them stuck in that lower chakras, first chakra, second chakra, bringing in the white flame, white flame, white flame into the first chakra, blasting that energy, blasting, blasting, suck. There we go, suck. Yeah, blast. There we go. Activate, activate, activate in the second chakra. White flame. Stop. Right in there. Stop. Blasting, blasting, blasting. Stop. There we go. There we go. Now let that energy start to lift from the subconscious. Easy, easy. Let the cradling begin right there, holding, and then little, little bits here and there coming through. All righty. So, October, cradling, a good thing. And remember, Group clearings, hope to see you there.